Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. To me, Caitlin Clark is the rookie of the year right now. She has impacted winning in a bigger way than anyone else in this rookie class. She leads all rookies in four or five of the stat categories, and her team is on pace to finish a lot better this year than it did last year, meaning she has impacted the overall state of the team, whereas Angel Reese's Sky right now are not on pace to improve. So I look at all of those things. All that being said, Angel Reese has been so impressive this year so far. Those double-doubles, we can't sleep on the record that she just set. First of all, anytime you pass Candace Parker in anything, that is an accomplishment. But also, it's the fact that it was back-to-back. So th that consistency, that showing up for her team, mm -hmm. is part of the reason that Angel Reese is a worthy candidate to talk about for Rookie of the Year. I would just pick Kate and Clark. I've said this all season, BC. My Rookie of the Year is going to go based on the standing. Okay. Because I think that that is how you have the opportunity to measure impact. And the sky is right above and them. And the sky right now are in the playoffs. So you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. Look, the double-double streak that she's mm -hmm. rocking and rolling, chasing down, 12 double-doubles to start uh, is the record that spanned over two seasons. She's already gotten to 11. I think when you sit back and you look at what's around her, head coach Teresa Weatherspoon in her first year, there's not another number one draft pick on that roster currently. There, there's not another all-star on that roster currently from years past. Indiana, they are building blocks. Yeah. Aaliyah Boston, rookie of the year, number one right. pick last year. Obviously, Caitlin Clark this year. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell has had big-time seasons over the course of her career. So there's more there in terms of the supporting cast around Caitlin, but both of them have been incredibly impressive. And I think those odds don't really indicate how close this race is. Yeah, I love it. it to me, it, I go back to like when Bird and Magic were first in mm -hmm. the NBA. This is kind of what we got going on right now in the W. For sure, it's fantastic. Obviously, the games between the two of them yes. are the highest yes. rated. So you got to give each their requisite credit due in that one. And I, and I got to say, of both of them, I have so much respect. The eyeballs are as big as they've ever been, and they are showing up and entertaining. Both have exceeded my expectation in their rookie season, for sure. Hey, what's up, y'all? So today I want to talk about the rookie of the year race. And right now they're saying that it's going to be between Andy Reese versus Caitlin Clark. And I actually got some bad news for a lot of people that are rooting for Andy Reese because I think that Caitlin Clark, I think that she will win the rookie of the year. And when she does that, you best believe that there's going to be a lot of shades. That's what, you know, the women likes to call it. There's going to be a lot of shade towards Caitlyn. And Rachel Nichols actually decided to chime in. And also Monica. I think that Caitlyn, she's been playing really good. And also Andy Reese. Andy Reese, she just broke a record last week. She broke a record. This is her first season in the NBA. And she's already breaking records, which is really good. I think that both of them have done a great job, but here's the thing. Andy Reese doesn't have the kind of players that Caitlin has, and she's still able to you know, do numbers. So I actually think that Andy Reese, I think that she should win the MVP of the year. We just have to wait and see who's gonna win the MVP. And uh, I actually wanna know what y'all think about this, so make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.